story. We have a story that you need to go ahead on and listen to. We have a suspect in Washington City um, is accused of a double homicide. He was located and he was taken into custody. Here we go. It was a frightening night and morning for Damn Washington it. County. My bad. I don't even have it up on the screen. Here, here, here we go. Say it again. We have a suspect in Washington City who was who allegedly committed a double homicide. It was a frightening night and morning for Washington County residents as they were alerted to what happened here at this home on East Chinook Drive. This all started just after 7 p.m. Tuesday night when Washington City Police were alerted to shots fired at a Washington City home. Lieutenant Corey Klotz with the Washington City Police Department says when officers got to the house, they found two people, a man and woman dead inside, but no suspects on scene. During their investigation, police say they identified the suspect as Mia Bailey. They say they discovered Bailey left in a yellow Kia Soul and was considered armed and dangerous. Just before 8 this morning, a citizen called saying they might have found Bailey. Mm -hmm. Multiple agencies responded to a field in St. George where they started negotiating. Lieutenant Claude says Bailey had a clearly visible gun. Mia complied with what we were asking, set mm -hmm. the gun down, um, was able to get up and, and walk over to our officers that, that were able to take her into custody. My dad was a police officer, so I've been involved around the police a lot of years. And my, what was going through my mind is that I hope they could have a peaceful resolve. I honestly didn't know if any was going to be any shooting, maybe some bullets coming our way. I was a little bit frightened about that, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm very glad that it turned out uh, as a peaceful resolve. Bob Dalton is a St. George resident who watched as negotiations happened. Police say Bailey was taken into custody just before 1030 Wednesday morning. Formal charges have not yet been filed against Bailey, but Lieutenant Klotz says multiple will be coming, including double homicide. The relationship between the victims and the suspect has not been released. It okay, it has not been released, but we got a video that says otherwise. Let me make sure I grab this right here because I'm under. Damn it, I'm trying to walk y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to walk you. I'm trying to tell y'all some. Trying to show y'all some of how we play out here in these streets. Grab that, do that, pause that, grab that, push that. Here we go. We got another video. Here we go. This is a developing situation coming out of southern Utah. Two people dead and a suspect now in jail after a standoff with police. KSL crews were there with cameras rolling as that suspect surrendered to police in St. George. With the suspect behind bars, questions remain about how all this happened. We do have team coverage on the investigation and how the community is reacting to this brutal act of violence. First News Specialist Alex Cabrero is live in St. George tonight where this night-long incident came to an end. And Alex, this was quite a case that police are now putting together. Yeah, it certainly is, Dini. It is going to take some time to gather all the evidence, collect all the facts, and then put together that final report. But, you know, no matter what detectives determine, none of this is going to make any sense. Now, earlier this morning, 28-year-old Mia Bailey was found in that thick sagebrush back there, that green vegetation. 28-year-old Mia Bailey. Got it. Right near that gray wall there. This is in St. George, just off of 2800 East and 1000 South. Police convinced Bailey to give up, but it did take a couple of hours of negotiating. This right here is video of when Bailey eventually decided enough was enough, walking out of the brush, hands up, and eventually laying on the ground where police put handcuffs on Bailey and then took Bailey to jail. Mm -hmm. Bailey is the only suspect in the shooting deaths of two people in Washington City last night. The nearby neighborhood here in St. George was put on a shelter in place command as police negotiated with Bailey. The main goal was to keep people safe, police safe, yeah. and even Bailey safe. So I'm just wondering, like, why would this 28 year old do a double homicide? No, I don't, I don't, I'm this isn't the end for her, right? We, we want to make sure that, that she knows that and that we're going to treat her the correct way and in a fair way, make sure you know, our justice system is followed and that she gets the respect that she needs. Stop. He's talking about the suspect? We want to make sure that we give Bailey the respect? Oh, wait, what? The shooter. People in Washington City last night. The nearby neighborhood here in St. George was put on a shelter-in-place command as police negotiated with Bailey. The main goal was to keep people safe, police safe, and even Bailey safe. This isn't the end for her, right? We, we want to make sure that, that she knows that and that we're going to treat her the correct way and in a fair way. Make sure, you know, our justice system is followed and that she gets the respect that she needs. The shooter? We care about respecting the shooter? 
Police even got Bailey's gun, which was also found in the brush here in St. George. Again, this all comes from a double shooting last night. Police were called to a house after reports of shots fired. When police went inside, that's when they found two people dead. Neighbors and even family are saying the two people killed are Bailey's parents, though police aren't officially releasing their relationship just yet, and names haven't been released either. Play oh, it's the parents of Bailey. It's interesting. Police eventually last night put out a description of Bailey and even Bailey's car. It was that description which people, someone in this neighborhood saw and contacted police. That's when all this took place right back here. Right now, Bailey is in the Washington County Jail. We will have coverage of this case as it continues forward. Okay. In St. George, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. It do look like a rich area. It really did. Hell, that's probably why the officer said, um, we're trying to treat it with um, respect and show and and respect and stuff. Yeah, tense, tense moments uh, throughout the day and the overnight hours. So glad it's come to a close there. Alex, thank you. This act of violence has rattled a community mm -hmm. with neighbors reacting to the violence. The special care bracket. I wonder why the 28 year old would have killed her parents. Continues her team coverage tonight with their stories. Kara? Hey, well, police they do say that there are multiple people that were inside of this home when the shooting happened, and they are saying that uh, there were not just anybody who they were had been shot, but rather the parents of the shooter, shooter suspect. Sirens and um, a lot of uh, vehicles racing around. Last night, a growing tense scene. It, there was already um, volatility and and bad vibes going with within the family. Neighbors say a mom, dad, brother, and his wife all lived in the home. Only the last months are we told Bailey used to live there too, but in the last several months moved out. The story all sounds the same from neighbors describing conflicting views of gender expression within the family. What did they say right there? Conflict and what? Several months moved out. The story all sounds the same from neighbors describing conflicting views of gender expression within the family. Conflicting views of gender expression throughout the family. What do you mean gender expression? Her name is My Maya Bailey, right? to live there too, but in the last several months moved out. The story all sounds the same from neighbors describing conflicting views of gender expression within the family. Just down the street, Richard Ziscovici. So did Mia want to be a boy or something? He was home when the shooting happened. He says things escalated again, as Bailey's brother and his wife were also home when the shooting happened and had to run for their own lives. They escaped and were in my neighbor's basement mm. um, to get away from. Seven months. Oh, you say that she's gay. Miles away, Bailey was apprehended. Neighbors there also impacted. Oh, so is she like a stud or something? She may be a stud. Residents are are nervous, they're a little bit frightened, they're scared, um, rightfully so. That's a nice neighborhood. Now, police tell us the medical examiner was here last night. Now, as for why they're still here, they've been here for several hours since yesterday. They are still working on getting all of that uh, data, that information, and then processing that evidence. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, pretty unnerving for all those residents there. All right, Kara, thank you. Stay with KSL as we continue tracking the latest developments nice in this home. double murder case. We're going to carry updates on our air, on our website, ksltv.com. And you can get alerts on your mobile device with our free. K you know it's nice too, boy. They 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 put that um. They put that turf. They put the turf in the backyard. This don't even want real grass. I was thinking about doing that right there to my property too, putting down the turf. I was thinking about it. It's a little expensive, you know what I'm saying? But I like turf. I really do like turf. But ah, uh, well. What do we have to say about that? Oh, Willie, you forgot to show them. You forgot to show them something that was really, really important to this story. Let me get a refresh. Let me do this and show you something really, really important to this story right here. Right? Something that the media just will not tell you. I, I, don't, I don't know why they do this type of stuff when they know that um, the Internet never fails we have a transgender woman who guns down parents in a utah home sparking massive manhunt bring it back what you say afternoon it's officer mitchell i want to let you know we have some good news we have the suspect in custody everyone is safe no one else was injured so the um, stay at home shelter 
that we have put in place in this area has been lifted. Again, there is no suspect um, outstanding at this time and no threat to the community. We appreciate everyone's patience. Thank you. All that little flashy right there. Um, a transgender woman allegedly gunned down her parents inside of a Utah home on Tuesday night, according to the police and the reports. Mia. Shout out to Mia. Mia Bailey. Whom police said wears wigs and changes her appearance frequently. Was cornered and arrested on Wednesday after an... Um, after an extensive manhunt that spun several hours, the cops warned that she was to be considered armed and dangerous while she was still on the loose. It looks like a she. It look right? It do look like a she. Oh, but it's a he she. It's our trans sister. It's just our trans sisters. So it is a him, but now it's a it's our trans sister so let's be respectful so now it takes me back to the to when the officer was saying hey we want to treat this person right we want to treat this person with respect and we want to follow the law and every doggone thing like that right there he he was feeding and or pandering to the trans community we have some good news the officer tiffany mitchell was with the saint George Police Department announced on Facebook. They said we have a suspect in custody. Everyone is safe. Say no one is injured. Got that right there. 28 year old, 28 year old was immediately taken in um, in as a primary suspect after guns fire erupted around 7 p.m. in the home on in Washington in Southwest Utah near the Arizona border. The bodies of a woman and man, both suffering gunshot wounds, were found in the living room, according to the. Um, According to the police and the investigators launched a manhunt for the suspect. We saw all that right there who flew in a yellow Kia Soul, who who fled in a yellow Kia Soul after several several hours on the on the loose. Bailey was cornered in a St. George's neighborhood, roughly seven miles from where the home um, where the murder took place. The video shows the suspect killing um, the, the suspected killer peacefully surrendering to a dozen of police officers we got all that right there on um, the police did not describe the relationship between bailey and the two victims all right but now we know that it's mom and daddy them uh-huh although the police did not make clear the relationship between the deceased and bailey records show that bailey shared the home where the slaughter occurred with Do joseph and gail bailey 70 and 69 typically people who is 69 and 70 they don't rock with the lgbt because they wasn't raised in that fashion they was raised different they was raised that man man and woman is supposed to be together it's just what it is it's just what it is and in their household they did not agree now you have to think about this mia's 28 mia should have had her own spot right not living with mama them but she had them moved out but she had them moved back in gail's brother took took to social media to confirm that the pair's killer was their child wait gail's brother oh 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 oh, oh all right all right so gail um i'm thinking that that is the wife yeah 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 Gail is the wife, so her, her brother went to social media and say her own damn child had done killed her. My sister Gail and her husband, um, Blue Bailey, was shot dead tonight. I'm numb, he wrote in the post seen by the Daily Mail. Their own son killed them. My poor mother has lost three of her five children. You always think it's, it only happens to someone else give your brother and sister a call stay in touch few details about the killers um about the killings including a motive have been revealed the motive is like they had done said as far as we know now that the family didn't rock with the gender identity crisis that our trans sisters was having yeah 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 mm-hmm 
So because the family, because your mama and daddy did not approve and or agree with how your lifestyle was going, you decided to do what? Kill them. You decided to kill somebody who did not agree with how you wanted to live your life. I want y'all to really, really let that death seek in. Because a lot of time when our trans sisters do violent things or commit crimes, the media, they never really want to point it out. They really don't ever want to go hard on it. You know what I'm saying? They want to make it as if like, um, like they're just all peaceful. And in my mind, humans, all humans can be a problem. But they try to make it like this group is just so peaceful and they never do anything. And that's why they kind of keep it on the hush. Uh-huh. So shout out to the internet and other sources calling it for what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe the New York Post did this article because of, um, to try to get some empathy and or sympathy to the transgender community. Mm-hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that they're going to do a mental evaluation. I'm pretty sure that they're going to do that right now. You say, Mia is a boy. Mia is our trans sister. <laughs> say, is the wig okay, though? The police had done said, and this is what was, like, like hilarious to me. Mia Bailey, who police said, wears wigs and changes her appearance frequently. Question. How do they know that? How do the police know that Mia wears wigs and changes her appearance frequently? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, transgenders commit murder too. Moving right along, I ain't gonna even hold you. 